So indicating crop, which is the name of the crop, the variety, the date planted, date transplanted. You see, there's a difference between the date it was planted and okay. transplanted. Here. Then, so I believe the date planted is the date when it was done in the nursery. Yeah, yeah. Transplanted no. is after, after moving them from the, from the nursery, nursery to the, to the field. field. Yeah. Then we have the number of seeds. Obviously, anytime you purchase a seed or any form of seed from maybe a supplier, okay, the supplier might, must have indicated the number of seeds or maybe the quantity. Quantity in terms of it can be in grams and kgs. Okay. Yeah. So, Victor, let me ask you a question. Eh? Yes. Uh, Twenty-three thousand seeds. Is that a kg? It's a half a kg. Oh. Okay. This one. Half a kg. That's half a kg. Yeah, that's 500 grams. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you. So, the number of seeds which you are planted now at the nursery. Yes. They were 23,000 and four seedlings. Okay. Then we have total number of plants. Meaning, as you can see here, there's a difference between the number of seeds sold. which are sold at the nursery. Uh -huh. They were 23. Okay. Then, number of plants which you are planted planted in the block yeah at the field now okay yeah so meaning maybe you are not sure maybe something might have happened or maybe the way you're supposed uh, to I, get... I, I, I believe you guys have different blocks yeah. and i believe that uh, out of the 23,000 seeds you are done yeah maybe this is the number 16,000 were done in this block yeah and uh maybe you transfer some other in other blocks yeah okay you can proceed yeah yeah so we have the expected date. Anytime you play, you, you plant your crop, maybe you have to sow it from yeah. the nursery. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly at Dolly's farm, we have our nursery. It's up there. Uh -huh. Maybe with time I'll take you there. Okay. Yeah, we shall leave it. Then you see different crops. Oh, we do this. Okay. Yeah. So these are day these are dates which you sow the seeds yes. at the nursery. Yes. Which is here. Uh -huh. It was planted at the 6th mm -hmm. September mm -hmm. 20, 2023. 2023. Okay. Yeah. Now we come to uh, the first one, which is the crop name. So does it last like uh, two months in the nursery or how many, how many months in the nursery? Okay. At the nursery, mostly leeks, they okay. usually go like around 14 days. That is equivalent to two weeks. Maybe if it goes maybe that much uh -huh. 15 days okay yeah, okay depending okay. on the way you maintain your nursery yes yeah okay yeah so the crop name is leeks okay yeah it italian is also, giants yeah it is in a family of onions okay but you see the variety here it's called italian giant if you look at this crop here mm -hmm. it's a bit different yes yeah so, even from the way it is appearing which part is eaten here is it does it bulb okay does it uh-huh yeah it usually forms a form of bulb which is not like the other onions okay the red onions okay yeah so uh guys as you can see uh these are the leeks and uh they form a bulb but uh the leeks are eaten i believe the leeks are maybe eaten from, from uh, the bulb down there yeah, up to this stem. point eh? yeah that is where the the stem is eh? yeah. so this part the upper part is not eaten Okay, at some point, mm -hmm. there are some other people who usually say they have their form of the way they can use it mm -hmm. in another way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like which way? Are the leeks used in... Uh, uh, still the, the leaves are eaten, cooked, or what happens? Okay, normally the leaves, you can cook still. Uh -huh. But I can't lie to you because I've <laughs> never done it. Yeah, so guys, in the comment, please, uh, if you can advise or maybe give some information about the leeks leaves are cooked as uh, normal onions oh. please advise us give us that comment at least we get to know and guys uh, for your information uh, this is the the leeks block and uh, just to say a few things uh, this is a, a purely organic farm this is purely organic farm no uh, those Exactly. You have heard. Maybe, uh, Victor, you can uh, repeat uh, to them loudly. Okay. At Dolly's Farm, it's 100% sure organic. Our products are 100% organic. And mostly, 
our customers they do consider us mostly because we usually there's no i don't think if there's any other farm or any other farmer currently who does organic they are but mostly ours is family known so guys with that information i'm going to post uh, joles farm number down there at least you can order purely 100 percent organic vegetables uh there are different kind of vegetables here uh from leeks to mains to onions to tomatoes to skumawiki to a lot of things bananas uh a lot i'm just i'll take you through i'll get some videos for you guys and then you can put the numbers there you can always order and they are delivered to your doorstep okay so uh victor what kind of uh, organic pesticides or oh, you use to maybe protect these uh, these leaks. Okay, as I told you at the beginning, mostly you must grow your seeds at a nursery area, whereby at the starting level where you have sowed your seeds, you must have some the way you are supposed to a program which is supposed to guide you and take you through until you transplant your crop or your seedling to the field. Now it becomes ready to adapt to the field enough. Okay, at nursery level, mostly we do use... You see, you must control pesticides. Okay. The pest mostly. Uh -huh. Then you must control these fungal diseases. Okay. Yeah. Then, for your crop or your seedling to, to develop vigorously and as strong as be more strong okay. and more to develop uh, the quality. Yeah. Then you must feed. Yeah. Of course. So at nursery level we mostly feed and also we do control pests and we also do control fungal. Okay. So at nursery level we do feed. Uh, uh, so uh, guys uh, maybe to give you a good uh, a good list of uh, that program I'm going to post it and maybe take you through uh, through the uh, the program from the start that is from the nursery level to uh, transplant to maintaining fungus diseases pest pesticides and all that and maybe how to feed the leaks so i'll post it there maybe we can talk about and maybe the there are some of the agronomists agronomists inside uh, uh, maybe who are part of uh, uh benster farm you're going to maybe educate us maybe give us some information on uh, how you're supposed to maybe take care of anything we have left i believe we are here to learn together we are here to grow together we are here to feed the nation together so uh victor i can see that uh, there is a big stem here yes there is one with a very big stem yes uh, guys as you can see so victor yes at what uh Point, do you know whether this has already matured or it is thick enough or it's big enough yeah. as compared to the other kind of onions you yeah. normally see the bulb yeah. protruding down there yeah. and you're able to see this has already matured or the kind of uh, the leaves and all that appearance yeah. how do you know whether the leek has matured oh, okay okay mostly you see as for the red onions and the bulb onions yes mostly you usually see the bulb coming outside exactly the soil exactly yeah yes so now as you can see this one mm. it's almost in a few weeks it's supposed to be harvested okay and you see the bulb here so you have it's to dig. almost forming it doesn't form outside yeah it you have to form. dig to see how big the bulb yeah. is or, or, or even sometimes uh -huh. you can even check using your eyes by the stem, the stem. yeah they appear in should be see. how many centimeters okay maybe you can diameter say, or something this, this is too short. Maybe I will show you okay. the mature one. Okay, yeah. okay. But so, mostly you see this mm -hmm. one is mm -hmm. almost. Uh, like uh, how many days before it is uh, mature? Let's say 14 days mm -hmm. or 10 days. Okay. Almost. Maybe early February. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or mid -February. Or like you said, I saw it was the 14th of uh, February yeah. before you mature. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what kind of... Uh, Pests affect uh, leaks. Okay. As for any, as for the onion family, yep. we all know that the common pest, yes. usually the tree. 
drip drips yeah. okay the drip yeah you can okay most of the time you usually find them in between the leaves yeah so in does that mean when you are spraying you must be very okay, careful like to spray one? in between there yeah these are the the drips now this is the the neem stage okay yeah this uh, is that is the the whitish the white small things yeah the brownish the brownish yeah eh? yeah okay now this is the neem stage mm -hmm. maybe i don't know whether you will come across an adult it's usually large mm -hmm. yeah you see now mostly well yeah. the tip mm -hmm. the tip of the sprayer mostly the knapsack yeah Usually, you should direct it at the yeah, at the middle of the leaves, at the center of the leaves. Okay, this is the hiding place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let me ask a question. Eh? Yes. What are the effects of uh, trips when they are like uh, really affected by trips? How do they appear? How do the leaves appear? Okay. Normally, uh -huh. maybe I can show you. Just. Kindly. Yeah. This okay. Normally, any time you come across. The onion family, mm -hmm. you will see the marks. Do you see the marks? The whitish marks, eh? Yeah, these okay. ones. So those are affected by uh, trips? Yeah, yeah. So these are the signs. Uh -huh. These are called the trip marks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They are maybe the infestation of... Okay. Yeah, and maybe sometimes we usually say it's climatic. We okay. On, during the hot season, yeah. the population is usually very high. Okay. Yeah. Like now when it's hot, oh. it's for us now to wake up very early in the morning mm -hmm. or late evening. Okay. Spray. Okay. Because now that's the time now when they are coming back. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you a question. Yes. Does it affect the, the stem? Does it affect uh, the uh, the fruit down there or it just affects the leaves? Okay, mostly mm. the leaves. And also it lowers the quality. The quality the of? The quality of the of the leaf. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because, like for now, uh -huh. if you take any crop with this much drip mark, uh -huh. do you think the customer can buy it? No, no, no. 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 Anytime a customer considers uh -huh. the general appearance, which is from the outside, yeah. you have to give a good quality. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, so, with the spraying of uh, this is Fago, right? Yeah. Ah. So with the spraying of it, the the marks are going to disappear. Yeah. Okay. And you know the other thing, the funny thing about organic, mm -hmm. it's not like the convection. Yeah. The way we do things here at Dole's farm, yeah. as an organic farmer or farming, yes, you usually you have to be consistent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because if you spray today, an insecticide you to control the drip. Yeah. Only today. Yeah. No, my friend, you are, you, you, are, you are not going to mess. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, uh, as per the normal way of doing uh, pest control, uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult to do uh, to control these uh, fungicides, uh, these full of, I mean, pests, uh, using uh, the organic way. But uh, at least uh, people do manage. So, I believe with time we are going to learn more. And uh, like I said. The experts of uh, leaks, please uh, may you uh, give us some guidance on the best uh, fungicides, pesticides, organic that is, to use. I've heard people uh, using uh, uh, rabbit urine. Uh, Victor, do you use it? Oh, yeah, yeah. completely. We have been using it. Hmm. Yeah. Is it effective? Very effective. Okay. You know, the good thing about the urine. Hmm. Usually, it's like a repellent. Okay. And you see the tree. Yeah. Once it is, maybe it is melt or it is, it sends. Yeah. It can't come across. So it just disappears. Yeah. Okay. I've heard some other people uh, use uh, uh, pepper, garlic, yeah. tangawizi, and some just make a concussion. What is the use of that? Okay. Mostly, like now for the garlic, there's that smell to give. Okay. Uh huh. Proceed. Yeah. So when you crush the garlic, yeah, you take the the water. Yeah. You mix it. Uh huh. Then you sieve it. Uh -huh. Use like a maybe insecticide. Okay. Mostly we use it like an insecticide, but currently we are using the urine. The, the, the rabbit urine. Because now the advantages of urine uh -huh. is because 
You can use it maybe as an insecticide. Okay. But also like a foliar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guys, you've heard the usage of a rabbit yeah. as a foliar, as a insecticide. So I believe uh, we are learning a lot. We are learning a lot, and like I said, I'm going to post the number uh, for purely organic, 100% organic leaks uh, for you guys to uh, order your uh, order the product, and uh, they will be delivered at your uh, doorstep. Hold, hold on. Uh, so uh, Victor, uh, tell me about the irrigation. I can see that you guys are using a uh, uh, drip irrigation kind of. Uh, system yeah. guys you can see it's all drip yeah. and the place is very it's very hot yeah. it's very hot yeah. so guys uh, i believe uh, drip irrigation is the most effective yeah. kind of uh, irrigating your your plants uh, because you can always uh, pour in the kind of the amount of water you need to irrigate you can always do the timing and all that so Victor, maybe uh, if you could tell us about uh, the irrigation you're using here. Okay, at Dolez Farm, currently as we are talking, every block is now connected and uh, drip irrigation, which is, which is making us at least to save a lot of expenses. And also there are some, for us to decide to begin with, the, to start this form of irrigation, drip irrigation, we decided to avoid at least some expenses. In every time you are doing agriculture, there must be advantage and disadvantages. Now the reason, at the past, and the reason which made us to, be, to start the drip irrigation, mostly at the beginning we were using the basins. There was a time we had planted uh, the leaves at this point using the same same method. But now the disadvantage about the basin, it consumes a lot of water and then another thing, there's a lot of weeds. Now you see with drip irrigation, as you can see there are less weeds and it's more easier to control the weeds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so guys as you heard, uh, weeds only, uh, the reason you're seeing these other weeds which are in between the rows is because it's been raining. Yeah. But when it's uh, very hot, when it's uh, not raining, the weeds only grow where there is on the drip line. So it's easy to pluck them out yeah. and uh, it's easy to weed them out yeah. and uh, ensure that your farm is very, very clean. Yeah. So guys, uh, that's it for the leek farm. I mean, uh, leek, uh, leek farming. And also to have them in the drip. Uh -huh. You see, they are, they are now and the most important advantage of using drip irrigation okay as you can see there's always equal or distribution of water to each plant let's come and see let's see for example like here you see the way it is it's very see, muddy yeah equally distributed yeah, yeah. like here everywhere now yeah. at least and it is there is less water consumed yeah compared to the basin yeah. of yeah. Uh, guys, maybe you could be having a lot of questions. How do you open a, a, a farm of around five acres drip at the same time? So the drips are the, are the, the farm is divided into blocks. So each block is given its own uh, tap and uh, you open a specific tap for a specific block. So ensuring that uh, that specific uh, block gets uh, enough water and it's irrigated fully per specific time. Victor, how, how many times do you irrigate uh, in a week? How many how many times do you irrigate these lakes in a week? Okay, mostly it depends on the climate. Okay. Like now, like when it, it's very hot. Yeah. Like right now, now, as you have seen, we have seen here. Yes. It has already like an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, today is on. Today is on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. When do you expect to? irrigate again okay after how many days maybe sometimes like now it's about it's heading to have a system so it needs a lot of water okay yeah okay. it needs a lot of water for so the formation do, do, do you like uh, uh irrigate like three times in a week yeah maybe to be exactly that's the minimum, that's the minimum yeah. three times in a week yeah, let's times. say you only skip a day 
Yeah, then the next day, day maybe depending, you know, there are some other crops, so yes. you cannot bail on one crop. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, the farming uh, about leeks. So, if you have any question, please drop it in the comments, and I uh, really appreciate uh, for your subscription, for watching our channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe, and let's grow together. Thank you. And welcome to Joel's Farm. And welcome to Joel's Farm. Yeah. Please, I'm going to post the number down there. You can always call for any deliveries. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Okay.